Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Android games, which you can't install. So I've had this issue recently where I have a game that I like to test on my handhelds and it's a game called Wreckfest. It's by a um, developer called Handy Games. Now, I reached out to them because I was having problems when I went onto the Android uh, Play Store. What I was seeing was I could go in and I could add the app to certain devices, but not all of them. Um, I just said this item is not compatible with your device but I knew for a fact that the app was compatible because in one example which I'll share uh, it's installed on my AY and Odin which I downloaded legitimately from the app store and it worked fine it's working fine but it says it's not compatible so if I uninstall that app or that game and then try to reinstall it it just won't be available so I reached out to Handy Games they said it's not something they've done it's possibly something to do with uh, Google, something specific to do with device integrity checking, which is something that they implemented at the end of last year. And I'm like, well, okay, that makes could make sense. So I've again reached out to Google. I'll see what they say. They probably say nothing, to be honest. But in the meanwhile, I thought, can I um, resolve this myself? And the fact is, you can. Now, it's a little bit convoluted. You need to get the APK file because you can't get on that device. So... What you need to have is a device that does work. So in my case, I was able to use my mobile phone, which I'm using to record right now, and I downloaded the APK. Now, the way Wreckfest works is it's basically an installer. You install the APK and then it pulls down all the rest of the assets. Uh, when you try to do that and you copy the APK across onto this, it won't download the assets. So there's a second part to this uh, process. Now, the first part itself is a little bit convoluted. So, this first step, um, I learnt this from another YouTuber called RevUp67. Um, this was posted in 2021 by them, and it's actually really useful. So, what you do, like I say, is you install your, your app from the App Store on a device that you know that it does work. So, I installed it on my phone in question. And then you install a, an app called File Manager Plus. So, I'll leave a link to that. Uh, from there, and I'll link to the other person's video actually, from there you use that app to back up your app that you've already installed and it re-zips up that APK as an APK plus file. And then all you have to do is transfer it across onto your, your other device. Now I used, um, I used um, CX, CX Explorer and I just set up a, a little um, share between my device and my phone and I zapped it across that way. It was nice and quick because it's a couple of gig, the, the APK file. And then I installed it. What will happen when you try to load the APK is it will tell you that it's not fully downloaded, which you'll see in a second here. And it wanted to uh, download the rest of it, so you click Start. Now, mine is now currently working, but I'll start press Start, and what you'd see is it would have a total of zero out of the 3.5 gigabyte has to download, and it would just sit there and never download. But as you can see quite clearly here, now it is downloading. Now, to get it to start downloading, what I had to do was run a little bit of software called VPN Super Unlimited Proxy. So that was posted online. Run that, just set a proxy site somewhere else in the world. I just set it someplace in the US. And then I went into the Google Play Store app and told it to clear um, all the saved information. So that basically was having to reconnect from scratch. And then when I tried to uh, download the game, it still wasn't showing in the App Store. It still won't show in the App Store if I look it up. Yeah, when I look for the game, it says, this app won't work on your device. And that's this, this device. And I can change it to my tablet and it says, I can install it on other devices, but there's also an option to play because it does know that it's already installed because I have that basic install ready to go and downloading as we speak. But to get this to kick off, I just had to set that VPN up, clear out the cookies and the, well, just clear the cache of um, the App Store app. Go to information, go down to storage and cache, and I just cleared the storage. And then when I tried to load the game the second time, I just started downloading the files. Now I've been trying to get this to download for a couple of days and it was only that last phase where you install the VPN, have that run in even just for a few minutes just to get started and then it'll download. So thanks for watching. Hope this video has been of use to you. 
get downloading your games on the devices you want to play. I think that sounds fair. You paid for the game, you're running it on Android. Shouldn't be blocked for any reason. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.